What's up, guys? It's Duka here. This time I am doing the news, idle news, for this week. Uh, we took a break previously the last week. Uh, I know Jerison had his own news video, but me and Michael were kind of taking a break from doing the news since we were kind of feeling burnt out from it. And so now for this week, it's going to be uh, me by myself this time. Michael couldn't make it this time. So we are just going to go right on into discussing the news for this week. So first off, with AKB48, uh, some of the members have been posting up dance tutorials on the group's YouTube channel for teaching, like, the uh, choreography to some of their songs. So first off, Yamauchi Mizuki did Ogoe Diamond. Uh, Miyazaki Miho did Junen Zakura. Uh, Muto Tomu did Iwake Maybe, and uh, Fukuoka Sena did Flying Get, and just today a new one was released. Kawamoto Saya did Kiboteki Refrain. So if you're interested in uh, learning how to dance to some of these uh, classic AKB songs, definitely go and check that out on their YouTube channel. Next up, going on to SKE48. Uh, they actually announced a new uh, radio show for their uh, Mobame subscribers. So it is a new daily uh, web radio show, uh, SKE48 no Ochi Dadio. So this is going to be a radio program where they're recording at it from their homes. So that is really interesting. So uh, the shows will be available on May the 18th. Oh, today. So if you are subscribed to SK48 Mobile, definitely check that out if you're interested in that. Uh, also, something that's really cool that they did on uh, iTunes and Apple Music, they released the music videos for all of the songs that are included on uh, their current latest single, So You Toko Aruyone. So if you're interested in seeing the full versions of some of those music videos, definitely go and check that out. Uh, next up for NMB48 regarding news on Murase Sae, she actually opened up a YouTube channel. So she's only released a couple of, of videos so far, but they're makeup tutorial videos. So if you're interested in that, definitely go check it out and support her. Uh, next up, we'll go on to the Sakamichi side with uh, Keakizaka, actually. Uh, this is actually from MTV. They uh, are starting a social media campaign, uh, hashtag alone together, but it's actually uh, related to Keakizaka because the campaign is they are asking people to post up uh, covers of their song Silent Majority. So you can go on uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or YouTube and post up a cover of doing Silent Majority, whether it is a dance cover or a vocal cover or you're playing an instrument. If you post up a cover and you submit it to the MTV Japan official website, uh, then your video could actually get picked to be viewed as like, I guess it's like going to be a special like collage thing where it's like showing a compilation of all of the covers that have been uh, submitted and picked by uh, MTV, and it may actually be viewed by the members themselves, so that's actually something really exciting. Now, whether or not uh, we on the channel are going to do it has uh, yet to be determined. I'm considering it because Silent Majority is a really good song, and it is a song that I do enjoy singing, so... Uh, if not submitting for this campaign, it might just be something like it. I just do for fun on my own. Like, I don't know. If if you guys want to see, you know, us maybe doing something like this, then definitely let us know down in the comments, you know. Or try it yourselves. It could definitely be a fun experience, I'd say. So uh, the deadline for submitting videos will be on May 31st. There is a uh, Twitter post that uh, kind of explained, translated the uh, details for submitting it. I'll see if I can uh, find it. But yeah, th th it like explained like what you have to do when you uh, submit the, when you submit your videos towards the, 
Oh man, I'm sorry, I can't remember it. I'll look for it later and I'll definitely put it in the uh, description down below here. So if any of you are interested in that, then definitely look on the details for that. Um, but we're just gonna move uh, along because I don't want this video to be like too long. So we're gonna move on to some news regarding Nogizaka and also Keyholder actually. So SK48 owner uh, Keyholder uh, has signed a basic acquisition agreement to fully acquire North River Inc. today. Uh, that is May 14th when it was signed. And if the deal is completed, then Keyholder will own 50% share of Nogizaka 46 LLC. So there are some more details on here from Jay Showbiz. So I'll go ahead and pull that up. So reading on it here, uh, through North River Inc's core business, uh, oh, though their core business is transportation services for celebrities, the company has strong ties to female idol group show business. The company CEO, Kitakawa Keiji, uh, is the company's shareholder. The company CEO is Kitagawa Keiji, sorry about that. So the company's shareholders include Akimoto Yasushi, Kyoraku, uh, AKS, and Akimoto Shinsuke. On the other hand, uh, North River Inc. owns 50% share of Nogizaka 46 LLC, which is the management company of the group. And it is also the talent company uh, both current members and some former members, such as uh, Nishino Nanase, Iko Marina, and Sakurai Reika, are its talents. Uh, Keyholder itself also has other collaborations with Nogizaka 46 and Sakamichi, including uh, Nogikoi, uh, Hinatazaka's Hikari TV CM, a business alliance with Iko Marina and Wakatsuki Yumi, and Wakatsuki Yumi's wow wow drama Chichito Musuko no Chika Idol. Uh, according to Yahoo Finance, Keyholder shares jump 33% in the last seven days. So yeah, this is actually uh, pretty interesting that uh, the company could potentially acquire uh, rights with acquiring a business agreement with uh, Nogizaka. So I think that could be really interesting for the group. Uh, but next up, moving on now, uh, the live action movie for the Eiko Zen drama has released its first trailer. So the trailer for the Eiko Zen movie is out now. I did check it out. It definitely looks like a lot of fun. Again, I haven't had the chance to check out the Eiko Zen drama yet, but I definitely want to. It's just a matter of like finding time and actually sticking to it without getting sidetracked. But Again, with how I've been getting so much more into, like, K-pop groups and stuff like that. I I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and commit. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna try because I definitely do want to check it out and see what it's like. Because it looked like a lot of fun from the teaser. It just looked, like, so crazy. I'm just so curious about it. But, yeah, definitely look forward to that. Uh, next up, uh, regarding some news about the... Uh, Nokizaka 46 Hours TV, so that will actually be coming to Ameba, Ab Abema TV, sorry. So that will be airing between uh, June 19th and June the 20th, so there are more details up on here. Oh, 21st actually, because 46 hours, that's almost two days. So uh, all of the members except Shirai Shimai will be participating in this. So there are more details on it here. So we'll look at these. So it shows the uh, channel links for the uh, three days when it will be broadcasting. Uh, moreover, uh, Akimoto Manatsu um, Umezawa Minami uh, hosted an online press conference with an other 43 members via a remote application, Zoom, on May 17th. So according to the press conference, the uh, Nogizaka 46 Hours TV will feature Nogizaka TV station, 
uh, werewolf game. Oh, that's a lot of fun. Uh, members, solo programs, uh, special project tie up with Abema program and etc. So yeah, that definitely sounds like a lot of fun. So if anyone is interested in that, definitely look on details for that. Um, and there is also the announcement of releasing of special uh, DVD box sets of Nogizaka Under Construction or Nogizaka Kojichu. So these box sets are basically uh, compilations of, uh, depending on which member you get, it's that specific member's compilation of what their uh, personal best moments was uh, from the show. For So for example, we have uh, Saito Asuka, so it's Asuka Kojitsu for that box set. Uh, Hori Miona, uh, Hoshino Minami, uh, Shiuchi Mai. So basically, depending on which box set you get, you'll get, a, you'll get a different collection of episodes that pertain to that particular member or shows like their personal favorite moments from that show. I'd say that's definitely an interesting angle to go on it with it. So yeah, if anyone is interested in that, definitely go and check that out. Uh, next up, moving on to the graduated member news with uh, this is actually something I am really happy about. So um, last year it was announced that Akimoto Sayaka was doing a secret project doing some sort of filming in Canada. This was something that me and my friend Sky had discussed quite a bit because, you know, we were so curious about it. It's like, what could she be doing in Canada? Is it like a TV show or a movie? But we have finally gotten details on that as Sayaka, it turns out, is making her Hollywood movie debut in a movie called Sniper Assassin's End. So this is the eighth installment in the uh, Sniper movie series. I am not familiar with this series at all. I have never seen anything from it. But just from the trailer that we've been given of this particular movie, this is intense. It's a lot of action, a, a lot of gun work because it is, you know, snipers, a lot of gun action there. And Sayaka looks so cool. I was just blown away. I, I was already blown away by the fact that she's in, in like an American Hollywood movie. Like, to actually see her name be on the screen is just like, I just, I was absolutely mind blown by that. It made me so happy. Um, so we'll read a little bit up on the plot, what it's about. So uh, special ops sniper Brandon Beckett, who is played by uh, Chad Michael Collins, is set up as the primary suspect for the murder of a foreign dig dignitary on the eve of signing a high-profile trade agreement with the United States. Narrowly escaping death, Beckett realizes that there may be a dark operative working within the government and partners with the only person whom he can trust, his father, legendary sniper Sergeant Thomas Beckett, who is played by Tom Berenger. Both Becketts are on the run from the CIA, Russian mercenaries, and a Yakuza-trained assassin, that is Sayaka's character, with sniper skills that rival both legendary sharp shooters. And I also read that the name of Sayaka's character in this is Lady Death. Like, holy cow, that is such an action movie name. <laughs> but yeah, just from the trailer alone, Sayaka looks incredible in this. There, we're definitely getting some action scenes with her and seeing her holding like the sniper rifle it's like she looks so awesome i i still kind of feel like this is unreal i'm just absolutely excited for this if this is definitely i i don't usually watch a lot of like action movies especially because this is like an r-rated action movie but I don't know, just for the fact that Sayaka is in this, I definitely want to see how she does in this. And I want to see what her character is like in this. I'm so excited. And also, 
It will be available on Blu-ray and digital on June 16th, so that's actually very soon. It will be coming out on DVD for you to own. So if anyone is interested in this, definitely go and check this out and watch the trailer for this. Because the trailer alone has me sold. Like, I want to see this. Just for Sayaka, I want to see this. <laughs> Purely for me, just for Sayaka, I want to see this. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Uh, Oshima Yuko is also starring in a new movie. Uh, All the Things We Never Said is the English title of the movie. Uh, in that, she is playing an uh, unfaithful wife who is uh, having an affair with her husband. So that's definitely interesting. Definitely something uh, Yuko herself said. It was something she's never done before. So if you're interested in learning details about that, definitely go and check that out as well. And moving on next to the K-pop side of news. So... We do have an announcement update regarding uh, KCON. So KCON is actually going to be doing a special uh, live stream event throughout uh, an entire week, actually, doing a live stream uh, featuring several artists. So there are details up on here from the KCON global Twitter account. So, this is about the K-Con Tact 2020 Summer. So we'll look on the details for that. So from June the 20th to the 26th of this year, uh, 24 hours, seven days, uh, meet around 30 of your favorite K-pop artists through our online K-Con program, including live concerts, meet and greet, convention related events, and more. So this is really cool to see that they are doing this so we can have, so that people who like, they wanted to attend KCON, this will still be something that they'll be able to uh, experience with. So definitely exciting. I've seen a lot of people commenting on like, you know, artists that they want to see appear in it. So yeah, definitely exciting news for all of you who were looking forward to KCON. So yeah, definitely look forward to that. Next up, going on to news about uh, Luna. So uh, first off, they have started a new vlog series on their YouTube channel just called Luna Log. So, so far, only uh, two vlogs have been put out. One of them is from Jinsoul, and then the other one is from Hyunjin. And it is really cool because this is actually like edited by the girls themselves. So you really kind of get a feel for like what their personalities are like from how like they edit and shot all the videos. So like Jinsel, for example, there was a lot of like really funny editing in this. So it was like really fun. She was like editing like pictures of the girls in like really funny ways. And just in general, it was a lot of fun to watch, especially because we were getting a lot of behind the scenes content that we hadn't seen before. So that was really cool. And then Hyunjin, it was uh, a bit more relaxed. It was just showing like, you know, day in the life of like what she does, you know, getting ready in the morning, uh, eating lunch, or uh, there was actually a segment at the end where she was uh, cooking. So that was really cool. Although it ended really abruptly, which again, kind of fits her personality though, because Hyunjin is Ki kind of weird, but like in a really cute, quirky way. So I just love that, that we're getting that. And definitely looking forward to see who's going to be next, like who's going to release a vlog next. Really interested in that. All right. Uh, next up, they also announced season two of Luna the Tam. Uh, that's basically a, a series where it showed the girls like on their off time. Uh, it's basically the Tam is shortened as travel and more. So the last time that they did this, it showed the girls at an amusement park. And so this time, it looks like they're going hiking. Uh, the girls aren't told anything about what they're doing or where they're going. So it's basically like a secret trip that, that I guess the company planned. So really interested in seeing where it ends up they're going to be doing. So definitely looking forward to that. And last up on 
Luna related news. They uh, performed a cover of the song Love Battery on Immortal Songs 2. This is very popular music show in Korea. And they performed a cover of Love Battery. Now, it was the nine of them because uh, not only was Hostel missing, but also Kim Lip and Olivia could not participate in it. But still, even though it was just the nine of them, it was such an incredible performance. Like, again, it really shows off the strengths of the group. Like, I highly recommend checking it out. Uh, there is also a studio version of the cover that is available, but only on Korean streaming sites. It's not available worldwide. But still, I'd say definitely check out their performance of this because it was so good. It was so good. Next up now, moving on to Eyes One. Uh, they have confirmed a new date for the release of their uh, concert documentary movie, Eyes on Me, the movie. So that will be released on June the 10th. So definitely look forward to that. And they also today just announced the details on their next comeback. So the group is going to be releasing their third mini album on June the 15th. So definitely very exciting. I'm very curious about what they're going to do in this next comeback. So definitely look forward for more details on that. And also, one of the members, uh, Joel Yuri, is participating currently on The King of Mass Singer. She actually made it to the second round. So definitely go and check that out if you're interested. And last up on the K-pop side of news, uh, Dreamcatcher's uh, Jiu did a cover of the song I Love You 3000. So this was actually uh, for yesterday, May 17th, was her birthday. So, uh, a bit late, but happy birthday, Jiu. The The video itself was just really cute because it had, like, the balloons and cakes and everything. It was just absolutely adorable, and her voice sounded so nice. So, definitely check that out if you haven't. And last up on discussion for the news today, uh, this isn't really idol-related news, but uh, Kasuga from the comedy duo Audrey has welcomed a new baby girl with his wife into the world. So congratulations to him and his wife. Uh, so the girl, the baby girl was born on May the 8th and it actually shares the same birthday as uh, Kageyama Yuka and Hiragana Keaki slash uh, Hinatazaka's first gen anniversary. So that's a really cool coincidence. But yeah, that's just really happy news to hear. So congratulations to Kasuga. And that does it for the news for this week. Uh, if you have not checked it out already on our second channel, I have started a new reaction series where I'm reacting to the K-pop group Oh My Girl. So I just did part two of that today. So there are currently two parts of it out and I will continue it tomorrow as well. So definitely check that out if you're interested in that, if you're a fan of Oh My Girl. And if you liked this video, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to our channel for more idol-related content. And we'll see you guys in the next video, whatever we make it. So until then, bye-bye!